what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have this 2017 honda court and today we have this car uh the the customer came and he's complaining about a whiny noise when he turns on the car so let's check it out you can hear the noise right away even when you accelerate that's the noise you hear okay so that's the noise the customer is complaining about and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove the dry belt and we're gonna perform the same test just to make sure if the problem is on the accessories belts um the dry um the pulleys or it's actually inside the motor all right i'm gonna remove the belt okay so we're gonna remove the belt and if you can see right there this is the the bolt for the for the belt tensioner we're gonna remove that one with not remove it but release the tension with a 17 um, you can use a, a small um, bolt or you can use like this tool right here that I have or you can use a wrench so we're gonna pull this way all the way here slowly as you can see it's releasing the tension and now we're gonna release the belt okay so once we have the belt released we're gonna turn on the car and we're gonna hear if the noise is actually here outside on the pulleys or in the engine all right so i'm gonna go there uh start the engine again and let's hear it all right so i'm gonna start the engine now come on and as you can see the noise is gone all right so the noise is gone no more whining noise okay so now we have to figure out which pulley is making the noise so there's a simple test to do to figure out which one is doing the noise and that it's going to be to use air and we're gonna spin the pulley with air like this and I'm gonna show you right now which uh, I'm gonna test this one and that one just to show you really quick okay so we're gonna do this test we're gonna use air and blow it to spin it and see which one is doing the noise This one is just doing slight noise. Okay, let's test now the t the belt tensioner. And we're here that's the one that's doing the noise okay so we're gonna replace this one so that's the problem right there all right so to remove the tensioner we're gonna need this h8 allen uh, socket so as you can see here I pretty much have it loose already the bolt uh, the bolt's gonna be between uh, those two pulleys right here there's a hole in there and you're gonna insert the allen like this it's gonna be a little tight and we're gonna start loosening it like this unbolting it that way okay so the other one is at the bottom and you're gonna need a size 12 it's gonna be for the bottom one and let's hope the alternator is not in our way to remove that tensioner Oh, so to remove that one, you gotta reach down there. It's easier this way. It's more, you have more access to it. And let me just got, get that bolt loose. Right here, that got loose already. And you can get that bolt with the hand. 
not super tight. Let me just get it. Yeah, you can do it with the hand. Like I said, this way is more. Uh, you have more access from this side than going on the other side. And the book, it's not actually that long. So here's the port right here. Okay, so we have that loose. As you can see here, it got loose more. Now we're gonna use this one. And this one is gonna be a little bit more challenging because you have this line right here. And be careful not to stretch it too long, too much, because this is a high pressure line. And if you break it, then you're gonna end up losing all the freedom you have in the car and also it could damage your your eyes if it, if it gets in your eyes okay so let me get this one out As you can see here, we have this one already loose, and let's see if we can get it out from here without removing the, the alternator. Okay, but I think we have to remove it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, there you go. You can remove it this by throwing it down and remove it from this side. Alright, so let's hear it. So you can hear that's the noise and once the new one arrives I will show you the difference okay so as you can see here I have already the pulley and what a difference huh sounds much better than this one yeah, so this one is trash I'm gonna install the new one and also we're gonna install a new belt because that one is a little bit old and here's the new belt the support number you can see it All right, we're gonna install a new one and we're gonna install this tensioner the same way we removed the tensioner uh, from this side right here so let me just go here so twist it around a little bit and then we can pull it up There, just gotta line it. I would recommend put the the first ball at the bottom first, so it's like a guide, and then you can put the one in the middle. It's gonna make things a lot a lot easier. You don't have to bolt it in all the way in, just a little bit, so you can guide it. As you can see, it's fixed there now, and we're gonna insert the bolt back to its place. There we go. You can use your finger fingertips to hold the end to tighten it. Just gotta find the right the right spot right there. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So let me see, because this one is a little bit tricky, so you gotta be very, very, very gentle with this. Get it right. 
there we go okay so once you got it pre-aligned already oh actually it's moving a little bit okay there we go so now it's time to install the build uh, if you don't remember how it goes I'll lift the diagram right here so you can see it okay so I'm gonna put the bell like this and it's new so it's gonna take a little bit of effort to stretch it good it's brand new so we need to force it where we want it all right so as you can see here the belt it's already installed with the tensioner and now let's do the final test let's start it up okay let's see And boom, no more noise guys. Nope. No more whining noise. Alright guys, so this will be pretty much the end of the video. This is how you fix the whining noise and how to diagnose it on this 2017 Honda Accord. Uh, I believe most of the newer Hondas are having the same problems. So if you have a whiny noise, I will suggest to remove the belt and do this test before assume anything else or take it to the dealership. Alright. Okay guys, thank you again so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, dislike it if you didn't like it. Also turn notifications on so you can be updated with every video I upload every week. Alright guys, thank you again and I'll see you on the next episode.